So, um, apparently, um, I guess these titles that I mentioned are something that, you know, the people didn't really want. I don't know. Hmm? No, um, I didn't, like, receive any donations, and I'm wondering, like, is it because it's the games they didn't want, or? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. don't know. Like, I, I'm tr yeah, I, I was trying to, you. I've been having trouble pressing the, the donation button. Uh, it's not working. Oh, is it, Wait, the is donation it, button doesn't yeah, work? Yeah, it's not working. That okay, hold on. Um, hold on. Anyone else the in the chat, have have you attempted to use the donation button? Let us know in the chat if you have and it's like, not working or something. Yeah. Is the button, is the donation I'm, button not working? Hang on, I'm, I'm waiting for it to load. Uh, oh, shit. It doesn't work. Oh, fuck. Oh, no! Yeah. That's why it's not, that's why you don't, we're getting oh, anything. Oh, man. Okay. Oh. I better go fix that, like, right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's well, an ASAP. Eesh. Well, well that's um, why here. nothing God was happening. It. Okay, then. Good note to yeah. Well, at least Ooh. now you know. Yikes. I made a goof up we're right able there. To we're able to fix it the next time. Well, yes. I, I think I can fix it now. I just gotta find, um, gotta find the link to it. Hmm. What's that beeping noise I'm hearing? It sounds like they're in a submarine. Felix is in a supermarket. Yeah, I'm in the <laughs> store, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I thought you were in the submarine. Honestly, knowing where Felix Walmart. Knowing where Felix is by the sounds I can hear coming from his mic has become second nature for me and everybody else in the server. Ah. Alright. Um Okay, now I have to ask this question. Okay, now Does, test and um, see if it works. You'll yeah, have to like refresh the page. Out, oh wait, I gotta exit out here. Yeah, go refresh it. All and right. it works. Uh, All right. Yay! Whoops. The money flood begin. Let the money flood begin. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Casual right. optimism. Yeah. Um. Anyway, I was gonna ask like. For those in the call, what is your favorite crystal gem or like gem in general in Steven Universe? I had to catch up so much on Steven Universe. I don't really have one, honestly. I haven't ex I haven't you know, been exposed to it enough. Ah. Felix, EG. Hmm? I missed uh, two seasons, but my favorite is uh, Garnet. Yeah, which Garnet season? Wait, which show? First, Steven Universe. What is your uh favorite gem in general? Oh, well, I kind of lost interest in Steven Universe, and, and it's... Okay, so what was your favorite gem? Favorite gem would have to be... Hmm. That's a toughie. Oh, Lapis. Okay. Lapis, Lapis. You're all Lapis, welcome for me Lapis. preventing the wrong, Lapis by the way. Cool. Mm -hmm. As for me, my favorite... I actually had two main favorites. Um, Garnet was number one, because obvious. It's Garnet. She's awesome. But then eventually I started liking um, Peridot. Peridot's funny. <laughs> Claude. Claude! <laughs> okay, I want to know what Claude act means. Um, it means idiot. It's like a... Uh, it's I think basically it's a, a type of stone. It's a type of deformed no, stone, Cla basically. Claude, when somebody calls someone a Claude, that means you're an idiot or a daft person. Oh. Let's yeah. see. In the more, oh, in so the most, a classy bitch. The most scientific term of Claude is a, a, a lump or earth, uh, a lump of earth or clay. Yeah. Oh, so she's a classy racist. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Well, she did yep, All the sense. gems on the gem planet are racist against each other. Hmm. Pretty much. I just realized Maybe something else. Called... <laughs> she once called... <laughs> She what's called Steven a pebble. <laughs> That's why also, pearls are, are considered slaves on that planet. Also, what's up? Um, okay, so there's supposed to be a cool little feature uh, in part of the donation, and apparently I forgot to apply to that. Uh, but basically, <laughs> if you like, if somebody donates ten dollars or more, they can create like a voice box. I I gotta include that back in somehow. Yeah. Mm. Oops. Mm -hmm. Everything is broken. <laughs> Everything is broken. 
Yeah. But that's okay. Really we can fix it. It's part of the game. I just don't know what went wrong. I pat the derpy on the head. <laughs> I'm still like, I I'm still like what? wondering how did that link get removed? I have no idea. I um, have no idea. Oh. I, I guess know. this is something I'm going to have to like figure out uh, at some point. Yeah, you got. If you guys are have, wanting to catch up, definitely catch up because holy crap, it got crazy fast. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, that's Yay. the link I got to put in. All right. Um, hang on. Where's uh? Okay, now to re-edit it once again. <laughs> on these fleshies because I've been working on this stuff all day. Okay, now it should work. Yeah, there we go. Just what I needed. Mm -hmm. I, I always hear that when um somebody donates uh, uh bits to uh yep. Everett Shadow, he always has that yep. shadow. Yep, like, that's Just what, what I, I needed. I was thinking that too. <laughs> ah, <laughs> someone gets it. So I, I follow um, I follow on his uh, Twitch channel too, so now I know what you were talking about. Let's test this. Oh, you're testing it out. Yep. Mm -hmm. And donate. Should be working soon. You gotta hit the rear uh, uh, button. Oh, you hit both? Um, yeah. Oh, there we go. go now. Testing 123 hashtag L-I-N-G-O-K-I-N-G-O. <laughs> it spelled it out. <laughs> I heard the squeaky noise. I heard it. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's kerfuffle. Spell it out. God damn it. It's kerfuffle. <laughs> Hey, the, the dancing kerfuffle. <laughs> I love that new pony. She's cute. There's just My something name? adorable about her. Like, like, I also love that they add a uh, like a pro uh, prosthetic leg, and she's just like yeah, she I just like goes that. with it. it. It's just mm -hmm. there, and people just like they just flow with it. I think I know why she's so adorable. Are you ready? Mm. Hello, what? my name's Kerfuffle. Spelled how it sounds with an extra f for the fuff. I should really mm. stop talking now. <laughs> I had a bit. I had a bad kerfuffle, which is why I'm missing a leg. Ooh. Oh, I'm shit. face palming. God dang it! If she, had, if she was extra fluffy, she'd be called kerfuffle. Fluffle. Oh, you, told I love this, it. you told this joke already, and I wasn't too fond of you the first time. <laughs> oh, I love. I love that idea. It sounds cute. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to mention that to uh, Jesse since. I don't think she got that. No, I, di I didn't get a chance to hear that. It just sounds cute. He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> it's so fluffy, I'm gonna die! <laughs> please, please do not quote that character from those movies. <laughs> What's wrong with those movies? I don't, I don't know. think Logic likes them. <laughs> so I don't like them, it's just that I freaking... I don't like the gorls, as they're called. Gorls! <laughs> gorls! It's like, the reason they bother me is that I feel like they don't need to be there. I still, because like, to me, they're still the same thing they were from Gru's perspective at the very beginning, which was a tool to push the plot along, and then the plot was done, but they're still there. And it's like, oh, but Gru has a soul now. Great. So you don't, so you wouldn't mind if I quote anything from that Gru says, right? Well, yeah, Gru's ref Gru is funny, and he's redeeming by way of being funny. I don't like well, the well. I'm not the, them. I'm not the biggest fan of the minions, and I don't really like the Gorls. So <laughs> Gru is, yeah, I like Gru. Gru's funny. I'm, I'm Gru. Lie. 
light bulb. <laughs> like that. <laughs> that I love that quote. I like that quote. It's like, okay, that is just perfect. Me too. Reference usable. You know what's funny? Like, like you know, you know how in um when it comes to animators, they always like to um design a character based on a celebrity. Yeah. Like. When they when they chose Steve Carell to play as Gru, like a lot of my animation teachers uh, back in college said that they couldn't they couldn't see the uh, the the comparison towards Steve Carell and Gru, but what? I did look I did look a little more. If you just shave uh, Steve Carell's uh, Steve Carell's uh, hair, uh, he uh, he does look like Gru. <laughs> they, they both have big noses. Yeah. Do. Just as, uh, yeah, if you if you make Steve Carell bald, uh, bald, then that you definitely see him as Gru. How is like how genetically fucked do your genes have to be for your nose to be physically impossible? No oh, god. <laughs> I don't even want to think it. Also, I did know there was another thing um, that I thought about. Yeah. Is that those kind of designs on the on the nose? That kind of nose. That seems to be very popular in Japan, too. Yeah. Big example, Persona! Persona. And Usopp. There's a, there's, a, there's a creature called a, a Tengu that has a nose like that. Who has that, that freaking long nose? And Igor from, Perso from the Persona game series has that kind of nose, too. It's like, okay, is that a thing yeah. in Japan? I just realized. Mm-hmm. The minions what? don't follow. The minions don't follow Gru because he's a great villain. They follow Gru because his no lo nose looks like a banana. <laughs> that, was that was perfect. That was perfect. Wow. <laughs> oh my god. Someone get me. Someone. Like, it's like. Please. Somebody get me a chair, a table, and one of those signs that says "Change my mind." <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm gonna go find a park. Oh my God. I'm not actually gonna go find a park then. Especially since he's pretty much like what. Okay, Morpheus, I see what you're typing, and I'll, I'm gonna say this straight out. You're despicable. Mm -hmm. He's suggesting what? a cybernetic leg, like. Uh, I don't know if that can no. work. No, yeah, I don't know if that can work in Equestria, and it yeah, kind no. of it kind of loses they the charm them. of you know having a prosthetic leg. Yeah, the prosthetic they leg fits them. in a world that's more fantasy than sci-fi because there's basically no tech in well, Equestria. They're, they're, At least okay, there kind of is and, with and their tra light, uh, their trains so. and stuff. Okay. Yeah, but where is like where Kerfuffle and all the other washed out color ponies live? There are no Jumbotron, so there are no cybernetics either. That's basically <laughs> yeah, my like, stance on in it. In the movie, Sia's character literally had like a, a big old concert with all the modern concert showings of shit. Right. So I think Equestria just exists in some paradoxical non-dimension where time moves sideways to fit the day. <laughs> that reminds me, I'm actually working on a story talking about the origin of the dinosaur. Again, Monday Man. is of course Caveman Day because everybody hates Mondays. <laughs> and the, it's like it's like the weekend is where we get all of the computers and shit. Mhm. Mm but as soon as Monday <laughs> starts and everybody has to get ready for work, they're just grump like. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Morpheus is trying to be a little more uh, stretchy. Uh, steampunk legs. Well, I mean, the leg itself can be seen as that. I mean, yeah, like it somehow has a way of moving with the rest of the movements on the rest of her legs. Hey, you know what I think? What? Magic. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Anything in a question can anything can in a question can be answered by leaning really close to someone and just saying, "Magic." Yeah, besides, I'm still, I'm still waiting for I'm still waiting for uh, an idea of making a prosthetic horn for a Tempest. I've seen com I've seen oh, fan comics of that. Cool. That would be cool. That would be interesting. Gonna... That would be very cool, actually. 
Or They're like, not gonna do it. Like uh, somebody came up with this. Somebody came up with this really nice uh, fan art of Rarity and uh, Rarity and uh, Twilight. They were chiseling a, a a crystal to make a shape like a horn, and gave it some and gave an extra imported some magic in there so it can so it can react to um to oh, the tempest magic. Okay, so reading the conversation, apparently Morpheus was responding to Snickerman. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, so I'm like, oops. Sorry, Morpheus. Yeah, you're good. Okay, I guess we'll just shut the fuck up then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, I do. Guys, I, will this, I will say this. I will say this. I do like steampunk. Oh yeah, yeah. Steampunk Treasure Planet, pretty. for example, is one is a steampunk. Did somebody leave? Oh, I can never get. An, I can never. Get I think Felix's steampunk. connection does. Uh, yeah, but yeah, yeah, no. Um, I know it's not going to happen because Disney follows the money. But if they were going to do, if it, if they were going to be much more serious about these Disney remakes. Treasure Planet would definitely be one of those examples of like why it should be remade. It's to try to recapitalize what wasn't successful to try to make it successful. Hmm. Along with the Black Cauldron and Atlantis. Tom Holland is Milo Thatch. Oh <laughs> yeah. I would love to see that. Yes. Apparently yeah, there have been rumors. Um... Go, ahead. go ahead. There you go. Would they? Would you also make? Sorry. What? Jason? Hey, I deal with this shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was gonna say, the idea about having a um, live-action version of Atlantis would also help get bring the steampunk community closer to the world because the steampunk community is, while it is well known enough, not many people are aware of a, the stuff you can do in the steampunk community. It is its own unique function and all that stuff. It's not just fantasy. It has, like, its own, like, comp people and such. Like, they have their own companies and such. There's a lot of that. Hmm. Wow. And if they, um, if they have make a make, remake Atlantis, it would be something that the Steampunk community support greatly because of it. Hmm. Hmm. And I would be agree, and I would definitely be agreeing with that because I am a, considered a member of the steampunk community. I don't wear the steampunk often, but I do appreciate their stuff, and I have been doing studying under steampunk concepts and culture for quite some time. So. Neat. All right. At this point, I think it's time I. Um... <laughs> yeah, it'll be cool. Like my my channel is reaching close to seven hundred subs. But until then, um, I'm going to call this a night. Uh, thank you guys for joining. Um, I'm going to continue streaming next week in the hopes that maybe something better will happen. Um, it's probably yeah. going to be another Friday because of my uh, schedule change. That's kind of uh, what they scheduled me as, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that's it. Um, think there might be some changes here and there. I don't know. But it looks like uh, next Friday will be the case for whenever I stream again. And in doing so, I'm going to try to see, like, I don't know. I've been thinking about, like, just streaming a couple of, like, arcade-based, like, games, like Frogger and Galaga, just for something a little different. Galaga? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and we'll, we'll wait and see what happens, if anything, uh, ha um, you know, works well. Um, yeah. So the, the donation button has actually been fixed. Um... To those who donated me the bits or sent me bits, I appreciate that. Um, Magical Star, I just explained. Yeah, um, I'll, this is stuff I'll have to look into. But um, that being said, uh, thank you for joining. Um, I'll catch you guys next time, and uh, have a good one. Yeah. Bye-bye.